Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I want to show you how you can make a really nice decorative edge on your row or round. So I'm transferring the edge stitch and then I'm doing four knit stitches. That's just my starting section so there is nothing going on there. Then this first stitch I'm going to do knitwise and I'm going to take my yellow needle as my helping needle here. And this exact stitch I just did, I'm going to put on the helping needle. Then I'm going to do the following one knitwise. And the one on the yellow needle also knitwise. And we're putting it back on our needle. And then the following one we're again gonna do knitwise and transfer it to the helping needle. And then the following one again knitwise. And then we're gonna do the stitch on the helping needle and then we're gonna keep repeating that. And this way we're gonna get here a really nice ending and decorative section but you're gonna be able to see it much better in a couple of minutes. And the helping needle knitwise transfer back onto the helping needle and then the following one goes again knitwise. And we're putting it back on here so we keep doing one knit stitch that we transfer onto our helping needle then we do the next one on the regular needle in my left hand the gray one and then we do the yellow one and transfer it back onto the yellow needle And that's what we keep repeating. I know that it might seem a bit complicated, but it definitely pays off when you see the result. Now I'm going to show you another technique for the same thing. So you're going to get the same exact result, but this way we're not going to need a helping needle. So I'm doing the um, yellow stitch or the knit stitch and transferring it onto the needle itself, the left needle. And then I'm just doing a knit stitch with the following stitch. So I'm ignoring the first one and doing the second. And then I'm going to do the second one again knitwise and then I transfer it back onto my left needle. So I always keep doing the second stitch when I have my decorative stitch transferred and then I do the decorative stitch as well, also knitwise. So as you can see, this is pretty much the same thing just without the helping needle. And that's exactly why I wanted to show you both versions. And I'm gonna keep doing this slowly so that you can follow. Now I'm gonna show you a third version. So we're gonna transfer the stitch over here 
Then we're going to do the second stitch knitwise and this stitch again knitwise. And then we're going to transfer it back to the left needle. And then we're repeating, so I'm doing the same thing again. The second stitch from the needle gets a knit stitch and the first one also a knit stitch. And just make sure that you don't forget to transfer it back onto the left needle. And that way you're going to get a really nice edge. Again, I'm doing this slowly so that you guys can follow and you can slowly see that we have the exact same result since the beginning where I started with the healthy needle here. I showed you all three techniques that I know so that you can pick the one that fits you best. So make sure you try all of them out and just see whichever one you prefer. After a couple of minutes, it does get a lot faster when you get the hang of it, so it's a really easy thing to do. It may see seem complicated at first, but it's actually really easy. And you get a really great result, so it, the effort definitely pays off. And also make sure to not make a competition out of it, how fast you can do it or um, yeah, how um, much speed you have, but instead enjoy the process and enjoy the end result. And yeah, I think knitting and crocheting are great things exactly because you can relax and do them at your own pace and just enjoy the process of getting there. So after a while you're going to get into the flow and then it's just going to be way easier and you can do this relaxed as soon as you learn the stitch. As you can see it's maybe a little bit challenging at the beginning but give it a try after a couple of stitches it really does get easier. Now I have just a couple of stitches left over here. And I'm gonna do these with you. So just a couple knit stitches more.
There we go. Here is the last stitch. So I'm going to do that knitwise and then the decorative stitch as well, but this time I'm going to leave it on my right needle. Then I have here the five stitches at the end where nothing happens, and then I'm going to show you what we have. So of course we need another back row here, so I'm going to do purl stitches here. So the first four stitches with the tr transferred first stitch. Um, then four knit stitches and then I'm gonna do purl stitches and then when I turn the work around you're gonna be able to see the effect way better. There we go. So here you can see what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!